Let's talk about Bitcoin prices. They pretty much reached their all-time high this week after a major and stellar move from its 2020 lows. The price almost gained some 400%. But it hasn't been easy for all investors and traders. Uh, as we reached a high this week and Bitcoin prices were down with about 17%. If you look at Ripple, which had an also an amazing bull run over the last two weeks, they are actually down with some 40% from their weekly highs. So let's talk a little bit more about Bitcoin and Ripple so we can get ready for the next week. Thank you. All right, so these are uh, Bitcoin prices. And you can see that from the very low here in March, we pretty much gained 419%. Now, this is a weekly chart, so you can see that this is 2018, 2017, and this is the high we reached on that week of December 11th, 2017. From that level, we declined with some uh, 83%, but since then, we pretty much recuperated everything. And the question is now, what's going to happen next? Now, if we look at it from a big picture perspective, uh, then you can see that we breached a major triangle. If you draw a trend line from this level to here and this level to here, you get a triangle. And we had a break from this point. Now, if you measure from pretty much in the middle here, you get a target. And that target suggests that the price could go as high as $26,000 uh, per coin. If you measure from the base from here to here, it says we can go up to $30,000 per coin. Now, we had a bit of a setback to the downside, and that is obviously not great. And right now, in the very short term, I would be a bit careful here because you can see we're creating higher and higher lows. But from pretty much November 25th, so two days ago, the market declined. And I think we can go a little bit lower before turning higher. So how do I identify this level? Well, firstly, if you look at the daily chart, you can see that we have... Um, a low here on the daily the market spent quite a lot of time here so that is a good sign of, of an interesting level and then you can just take some Fibonacci from the latest low up to the latest high and you can see that this is pretty much the first fib at 38.2 and the 50% correction level now because we're in a bull market we shouldn't really correct too much so I think we we might bottom out in this little spot here and I'm happy to be bullish about 14,341 but we need to be a bit, bit careful, right? And we need to many times use something called multiple time frame uh, analysis. So in the short term, we are in a downtrend, right? We're creating lower and lower highs. Now, I want to combine the uh, big picture uptrend. So I want to combine the big picture uptrend with the short term one. When those two are both are bullish, and that's a good sign that we're probably going to head higher. And the market might be about to bottom out here. So we went down, up, down, up. So if we take this level out here, we could probably go up, down, and then up again and resume the, the bull trend. If not, we probably must go down and then a bit lower. And then maybe from here, around 16,000, all the way down to 14,341, try to bottom out. For ripple prices, it also looks really uh, interesting. It's, it's in a very similar situation where the price is creating lower and lower highs. And this looks actually more like an inverse head and shoulders to some extent. Um, so if you, or, or like an ascending triangle actually, this is an ascending triangle. So if you do it like that, uh, you can do an ascending triangle by linking two horizontal levels and then linking an upward level like that. And then here what it tells us that if we uh, break above this level here, we could potentially go all the way up to the highs like that on a break to 57 57 uh, but we need to be very careful uh, and don't I mean it's up to everybody what kind of risk they want to take but there are challenges it's, it's not like easy trading here because if I if you look at this which is a bit worrying this is your weekly candle in ripple and this is not a bullish candle on the weekly and if we close around these levels, so if we don't go back up to maybe 670 cents per, per coin, there's a high risk here that we could have a situation uh, that, that this would be a false move to, uh, sorry, we can break below this level and then go all the way down here. If you look at things like Bitcoin Cash, look at that candle. 
it's not a beautiful candle. It's back in the old range. Um, if you look at AOS, this is not a beautiful candle. It's always back into the range. So we need to be a bit careful here um, with with how the week ends uh, on, on Sunday. Okay, this concludes our market update for today. Uh, don't forget to check out the, the channel and more importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to provide updates like these ones every Monday and every Friday to help you guys get going as well. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter on AlexFX00. Thank you.